Passwords are used for everything and trying to keep track of those things can sometimes be a pretty big task. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the built-in or native password managers in all of the major browsers. Stick around. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So keeping track of your passwords, like I said, can be a pretty daunting task, especially if you have a ton of different websites that you're trying to remember individual passwords for. So today, we're gonna cover all of the major uh, password or the native password managers, such as Chrome, Firefox, uh, Safari, Edge, all of those, we're gonna go in, show you guys how to use those things, how to find the passwords, how to edit them, how to change them, and just how to delete them as well. And just basically overall a uh, management of the native password browsers. Now, of course, at any point during this video, if you get something out of it, you enjoy the content, you like it, whatever, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Those things certainly help the YouTube algorithm. It helps the YouTube magic, helps us grow our channel, which is what we're trying to do here, and we certainly appreciate it if you would do those things. So that being said, let's jump on over to the machine and check it out. Also in the description or down underneath the video on the timeline, be sure to check out the timeline because I'm gonna chapter off this video. That way you guys can skip to the browser that you guys use to make this video a little bit quicker for you. So again, that being said, let's hop on over and check it out. So starting off with Google Chrome, go up into the top right hand corner and click the three dots that are stacked on top of each other here and then come on down and left click on where it says settings. From here in the middle of the page, you've got the autofill category. We're just gonna choose the password options from here. And we're just gonna go from this top to bottom. So we've got offer to save password. So if it's a new website, you just signed up for maybe a new subscription, whatever, and it's the first time typing in those credentials, you can have it uh, save or offer to save those passwords. You can also toggle that switch off. If you're like, nope, I don't want this thing to, see, this thing to save any of the passwords, you can turn that system off. Same thing with the auto sign. If you want it to automatically sign you in once you've saved those credentials for that website, you can toggle that system on and off as well. Check your passwords, you can click on that. Uh, that'll go through, scan your passwords, let you know if there hasn't been one that's been changed in a while, if it's a weak password, all of those good things. There's kind of a built-in system that you can click on there and have it scan those passwords. Uh, right here in the middle, you've got your saved passwords. So of course, any websites that you've saved those credentials for, you've got those listed right under this category. You've got the website name, you've got the username you used, and you've got the password, which is shown in dots. But if you click on the little I, it's actually gonna ask for the password for the computer, not the password for the website. You're gonna want to have the password for the computer in order to display that password. To the right of that, you've got three little dots again. You can do a copy password, you can edit the password. So if you know that this has been a old password and you need to update it, you can come back in here and edit that password. And then of course you do have the option to remove it. Right underneath that category, you've got never save. These are websites that you've opted to never save your credentials for. Of course, if you want to reset that, you can go through and you can click the little X on these and next time you visit that website, if you need to log in, it'll then prompt you once again uh, to save those credentials in the password manager. Moving on over to Firefox, if you open up your Firefox in the top right hand corner, click on the three little bars that are stacked on top of each other and you can actually go to passwords directly from this menu here. If you don't see that for whatever reason, you can come on down to settings and then over on the left hand side, you'll click on privacy and security and then you'll scroll down to where you see logins and passwords. You're gonna to want to click on where it says save logins. Once you do this, this is going to take you to the same spot as if you were to go through the three bars, go to passwords. You can see it takes us to the exact same spot. From here, of course, it's gonna list all of your logins that are listed right along the left hand side here. You can create a new login at the bottom. Uh, if you wanna just check one, of course, you just click on it. It's gonna show you the website address the username that you have for it and the password. You've got a copy button for both of those. You've got the option to edit the website right here or you have the option to remove it as well. Uh, if you wanna see your password for whatever reason, you can just click on the little eye right here. This will uh, basically make it to where you can see the password. Um, and then of course you can copy it from here. And if you click on edit, this will allow you to edit the username and the, the, the password as well. And then once you're done, you can click on save changes here. Next up, we have Microsoft Edge. This is the new version of Microsoft Edge. We are not gonna be covering the older Microsoft Edge, which has been gone for quite some time now. This is the new one, but very similar situation. If you actually just come up into the top right-hand corner, 
once again, click the little setting or the little three uh, dots that are actually next to each other, or you can hit uh, Alt plus the letter F. That is going to bring up the settings as well. So you'll click on that. Then you're actually going to come on down to where it says settings right here. And then on the top left hand corner, you're going to want to make sure that you're under profiles. And then you can see you've got a passwords option right here. Go ahead and click on passwords. And just very similar to Chrome because uh, Edge is very is built off of basically the same code as Chrome off the Chromium like backbone. So you're going to see a lot of similarities in here. So at the very top, you've got the offer to save passwords once again, where you can uh, if you sign into a new website with some credentials, it it'll prompt you to say, "Hey, do you want to save this password?" You can choose uh, to choose yes or no. You could also toggle this on and off. If you don't want that feature at all, you can toggle this feature completely off. Now, if you want to sign in automatically, you can uh, have that enabled. That is enabled by default. If this is selected, you don't need to enter your password. If it's if it knows of a website that you have those credentials saved, it's automatically going to log you in. Or you can choose the with a device password. So if you click on this, it's going to prompt you for the computer password. You're going to need to type that in. And then once you've done that, when this is selected, you'll enter your device password before the autofill password on the website will take place. And you can change the settings underneath, whether it's once every browsing session or you know once a day, there's some other options in there that you can customize as well. Moving a little bit further down, show the reveal password button in the password field. So if you uh, toggle this on and off, once you see the password pop up, you can actually have like a little eye icon where you can reveal the password in case you don't remember what it was, you can uh, see it directly from that website as well. Show alerts when passwords are found in an online leak. We check your password saved in Edge against a known repository of exposed credentials. Um, you can click on the view right here. This is similar to what Google had where it checks it if it's weak, if it hasn't been changed in a while. Again, if it's been uh, it found in a different database, it'll check it on there. I don't really care for that. I usually toggle this type of stuff off anyway, but you have the option to toggle these on and off. Underneath all of that at the very bottom, this is where your saved passwords are going to be. You've got uh, your website, you've got your username, you've got your password, the health of the password, basically its strength. And then of course, this is the little uh, reveal icon where you can click on that and it will reveal the password. So if you want to show this little health bar in here, you can, you can toggle that on and off as you can see. That'll toggle the health um, display on or off. Now, right here on the three dots, more actions, you can change it. You can copy the password. You can edit uh, the credentials. So if you need to change the username or maybe you've updated the password, you can do that as well. You can delete this complete login from the save passwords field. Or again, you can hide the health from this little menu as well. So there are a few different things that you can do under here. Uh, next to the save password, you can click on this you can import and export your passwords as well. And of course, last but not least is Safari. Hopefully the audio isn't too bad on this. I couldn't find the mic that I was looking for for this audio. We're just using the uh, onboard audio or the onboard mic on this thing. So again, open up your Safari. From here, you're gonna want to go up to the little menu, wherever your menu bar is located. You're gonna want to hover over that or show it. And then you're gonna go to Safari. Uh, and then you're actually gonna want to click on the preferences or you can hit the command and the comma button, and that is your shortcut to bring up your Safari settings. From here, as you can see, we've got a new window that just popped up. We've got general tab, uh, autofill. We're gonna want to click on the option that says passwords. And from here, it's gonna ask you for your computer password, or if you have a touch ID like I do, you can use your fingerprint to unlock it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it with the fingerprint. And you can see that I don't actually use uh, Safari very much, if, if at all, uh, for anything. That's why I don't have any passwords or anything saved in here. But we're going to see a lot of similarities like we did with some of the other ones. We've got detect passwords compromised by known data leaks. So again, it's going to check that repository and see if there's any of your passwords that have shown up in that repository. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on add a password just so we can kind of see what's going on in here. We'll just do www.facebook. Whoa, oh, if I can type dot com uh, username we'll just do test and we'll just do demo once again we'll just add that password now of course just like the other ones if you were to log into these websites it's going to ask if you want to save that password in the keychain you can do that and it's going to show up under this list like you've got here where you've got again the website username password it's going to show you a little uh 
little symbol here. I'm guessing this is like a little caution symbol saying, hey, password's probably not that great. It's probably pretty a little weak, which we know, as we can see, the password is demo. So um, that's just in there. Again, you can click on the details of it. It's going to show you the password. This from here, you can click on and edit the username. You can edit the uh, password as well. Yeah, so you can see that that little symbol was saying easily guess password. Um, you can visit Facebook facebook.com to change your password. So hit done as well on that. So you have the option to add again, just like I did manually. Whenever you visit a website, it's going to add it or you can click on remove and that will remove that selected uh, credentials from that list as well. You'll get one more confirmation to say remove and then it's officially gone. So there you have it, pretty easy to do and hopefully you guys were able to go in, find the passwords you're looking for, maybe even learn how to change them, edit them, and just, again, manage your passwords within the native password managers. Now there are other applications or extensions like LastPass and things like that that you can use, but sometimes like I do, I use just the Chrome native browser password uh, manager and it works just great. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Again, if it was, be sure to like, share, subscribe, help us grow this channel. We certainly appreciate the support that you guys have done. Head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a lot of cool merch that you guys can check out over there as well. That is going to wrap it up for this week's video. So thanks again for watching and we will see you next time. Peace. Oh, and there's a, there's a blog that goes along with this that I'll post down in the description as well. So there we go, bye.